Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of the Men of Steel podcast, where we talk about Superman and Superman adjacent topics. If you enjoy this clip, check out the podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your shows. Movie tie-ins and like cheap ripoffs were were common at that time too, I'm sure. But I feel like there was more care because like video games in the early days, like if we didn't have an IP, we need to adapt something, anything. Let's adapt yeah. things. And also at the time, you know, it's no secret that Marvel had fluctuations and DC had fluctuations and how profitable they were. So of course, if a video game company wants to license their characters so they can make a thing, they're going to say yes, right? A paycheck's a paycheck. And so oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that this is an interesting age from that angle too that we'll never get back to right like there are less movie tie-in games now because the industry has realized that creating your own stories with those characters are more successful think about the spider-man game for ps2 and miles morales we're getting the sequel to that you know they're making a wolverine game we had the arkham series like we're getting suicide squad which i am not 100 percent on board with the um games as a service angle to it but you know that's a different podcast it's but, sure like, happening though it sure is uh <laughs> Look, I will say watching that trailer, like the jumping around as King Shark had that kind of Hulk Ultimate Destruction vibe, and I'm here for that. But all of this to say, like, I think developers understand better now that original stories based on the characters we love with a new twist are more successful than like, oh, there's a new Batman game. Gotta gotta put out that n new Batman game for the new Batman movie or whatever else. And mm -hmm. Well, and games generally have changed in terms of like how much story there is mm -hmm. like this game is here's a straight up adaptation of the comic story we're putting it out there but by the time you get to like you know, like you mentioned hulk ultimate destruction its predecessor was just the movie tie-in for angley's yeah. hulk like it's the same engine that just refined and that game like by that point which was ps2 xbox like you already had enough cinematics, you had enough stuff going on that you couldn't just do an adaptation mm -hmm. of the movie without it being like a derivative product in a way, as opposed to like a, um, a transcription of it. Like this comic is taking the story and converting it into a different format. It would feel like a crude translation. Like it would feel like we're adding game elements and then we're going to have like what, like cutscenes that are straight from the movie, either using the actual voice actors or having them just do the same scenes. It would be weird. And like, so mm -hmm. video games like becoming more advanced have changed the types of stories you would do. And so like the movie tie in game for Hulk was a sequel story. Right. Like it was set up as like, but the events of the movie occurred and then you're following up from there. And like, I think that's roughly when you start to see movie tie-in games be like here's a side story here's a prequel story here's how wolverine gets to this position like here's how you know like all those games are while well, they're connected they're not doing all the beats from the movie yet but up until that point that had just been kind of the de facto way to do it you know terminator like uh, that's you're experiencing terminator predator games you're doing like you're you're doing the stuff theoretically from the from the game you're, that, you're from predating. the movie that we're watching <laughs> yeah <laughs> So it, it's it's fun to look back at some of these ones where it's like, well, the the craft that's going into it is like, what? How are they adapting it? Like, yeah, it's kind of a middling like beat 'em up game with like some interesting mechanic stuff that they're throwing in there. But then like, here's really cool levels. Here's really cool sprite design. Here, like the the stuff to enjoy isn't the story they're telling. It's mm -hmm. how they're telling the story. Yeah. Right. Which is an advantage that video games can have. The way that we appreciate the differences in the character design. The way that we see how they set up the fight or how long or short of a level is. Is there a boss there? Who are we fighting? Those are storytelling elements, or they can be if you choose to use them that way. Yeah. Remember, if you like the clip after you're done liking and subscribing, check out certainpov.com where you can find more episodes of the show as well as a ton of other great shows.